Listen, death is something you got to prepare for. Right. You ought to attend your own funeral in your mind. Yeah. Sometimes this makes people uncomfortable, but that's all right. This is good for you. Picture, picture that funeral home. Picture that funeral home. Picture a casket down here. Yeah. And you're laid out in it. Yeah. Or are you one of those ones that's go, because you want to save a dollar, go get cremated like yeah. a pagan. Yeah. Come on. But here, here's, a, here's a casket. I got my wife with me tonight. She's got the pistol, so I'm not afraid. Picture that casket. There you are laying there. Mouth sealed closed. They've done the makeup, got your hair combed, might have called your barber down there, your hairdresser, to do your hair. There's your friends, co-workers, neighbors coming through. Some are crying, some are just checking to make sure the report was accurate. <laughs> Up there is a, is a, right there got the screen. You realize they put your life together in about 11 to 12 right. minutes worth of snapshots. Right. There you are, coming home with your mom when she was young. There you are, cute little baby. Maybe there you are at your fifth birthday or something. There you go off to kindergarten, and then there you are graduating. And yeah. There you are, uh, you know, getting right. married. Oh, there you are coming out of the hospital with your own babies. There you are maybe on a couple of vacations standing there with your wife in front of the Grand Canyon. Now we're here. Well, where are you going to be? You're not in that body no more. That was just borrowed. That's temporal. That's going back to dust. And we're coming by. Amen. Listen, funerals are not for you, for the deceased. It's for the living. So they can lay it to heart. But the question is, picture in your mind what they're saying. What kind of, what kind of impression did you leave on people? What are they saying and where will you be?